soon as I'm about to start talking, that fan starts rocking. Hello outlaws and hello campers, it's Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Um, or, you know, if it's your first time here, guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, I can't say that this is probably the best uh, jumping on point for anybody, but um, you know what? Since you're already here, just if you're new, hit that subscribe button because it don't cost nothing. Um, welcome back to the hot tank, guys. I think this is probably the first time this year that you guys have seen it, or at least this uh, this season. Um, it's still fall, guys. Uh, my watch. That, uh, you know, I said was dying. That broke. Um, right now, I mean, I do got a clock over here on the old thermometer. But it's uh, about 25 after 2 in the afternoon. Um, it's actually 42 degrees outside. Feels like 36. And in here in the hot tent, uh, the other thermometer, right now, ah, well, it's 58. So it's warming up in here. Yeah, you guys can see the fan. Uh, that's something new that I got, uh, not too recently. Um, that's something old that I got. <laughs> hey, she looks like a puppy, but she's an old lady. That's a sarsaparilla gorilla making a nest in the hot tent. And there's the other somewhat less than faithful companion, Lacey, sniffing around, probably looking for those uh, treats that are up there. Oh, let me tell you guys, it's good to be back out in the hot tent. Um, it's a Sunday, it's a Dutch angle, but you guys know, man, this is Outlaw Camp. Get used to shitty camera work uh, if you're not used to it already. I'm gonna be having a beer. Obviously, I'm gonna be smoking some cigarettes. I'll give you guys a quick tour of the hot tent, sort of explain what's going on and what's coming up. You know, I don't know, man. Maybe I'll uh, make something to eat out here. Who knows, maybe I'll just, you know, make a little soup on the old wood stove. Uh, doesn't matter. But it's starting to crank. That fan's going. I do have another fan I'm going to get up there. Uh, just because, you know, uh, like I said, or maybe I didn't say, but today is a Sunday. Uh, I do have to work tomorrow. I won't be sleeping out here. But don't worry, guys. There's going to be a lot of, there's going to be more hot tent stuff coming up than anybody wants to see. But, um... You know, this is an Outlaw Camper video. I want to thank everybody for coming back. Thank you for watching my whole uh, wet and cold camp out uh, back at Outlaw Camp. Uh, yeah, I got the hot tent in the front yard. Um, I'm actually thinking before we take a little walk around, because this, like I said, is the first time you guys have seen this in a while. We're going to have a beer. And let's just get into this and I'll explain it. Before I get into this beer, um, I'll tell you about it, at least what I know about it. Never had it before, so it's gonna be a first time for uh, for me. Uh, probably a first time for you guys, I don't know. Um, this little hot temp video that I'm doing today, uh, this is gonna, and hopefully guys, with this, this fan, it's not, the sound of it is not overpowering. But I have to tell you, it is an amazing thing. Um, hopefully you can see it, it's, I got this for probably like 10 bucks or something like that on Amazon just because of, you know, previous hot tent experience, uh, that fan, th this thing makes a world of difference. It used to be, you know, about 100 degrees up there at the top of the tent and like 10 degrees down here. Uh, now with that, it's, it's amazing. I also have another fan uh, that hooks up up there that my buddy Chris dropped off for me uh, yesterday. But that's besides the point, guys. Um, I'll explain as much of it as I can. Oh, man, look at this. I'm dropping my cigarette. Yeah. Um, like I said, well, after I open a beer, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we go take a walk around the hot tent because I'm going to have to go inside and grab that other fan. I don't know what's going on out there, guys. So, bowels of the suburbs of central New York. Get used to weird, random noises. Now, like I said, um, I think some or most of you uh, watched my uh, whole wet and cold series back there at Outlaw Camp where I made the stew. Um, I just posted the wrap-up video of that. Check that out if you haven't seen it. You guys know how YouTube works. You're already here on my channel. Scroll down, 
uh, find dirty old wrap up. But I mentioned in that video that my buddy Drew from Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks, YouTube hero. I bet he's got a fucking lighter that works. YouTube hero Drew, Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks, link down in the description. Um, I got the birthday box from him. I uh, came home the other day from work. It was out there. And I, um, this, I'm not going to really do the unboxing um, in this video because I just, I want to get this out before I do sort of just the whole drunken mess that this trying to film something for my birthday has, uh, you know, it, it's turned out to be. So, um, just keep watching, guys. I mean, this video just started. Um, anyway, if you drink, man, get a beer, uh, have a beer, drink one with me. If you don't, I mean, everybody drinks something. Whatever it is you drink, get it. Uh, pause the video, drink it with me. And, uh, you know, less talking, more drinking. Fucking get to it, man. I'm thirsty as fuck. So, like I've been rambling on, guys. Uh, birthday box from Drew and Amber got the card it's still out here in the hot tank um you'll see the whole unboxing opening everything he sent me it's fucking amazing uh let's just consider this sort of a, a preview to that video because i'm gonna try and make something jesus too fast too furious i'm gonna try and make something epic out of it uh anyway this is one of the beers that i got uh in my box from drew this is uh nickel brook brewing company which is from uh, Etobicoke, 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 Ontario. Uh, Creeper Reaper, it's a spooky IPA. Um, you guys know IPAs kinda just falling out of favor with me. Um, it's fall, guys, it's November, it's still November. It is after Thanksgiving, at least American Thanksgiving, but we've still got a whole month of fall left, uh, and that's amber ale season. Uh, I did get an amber ale from him, uh, so keep watching. When you guys see that video, I'll let you know how that was, uh, even though the can's still out here. But, uh, yeah, like I said, this is after the fact. So Creeper Reaper is a spooky IPA. I want to drink it before it gets too warm because it's getting hot in the hot tank. So 5% uh, alcohol, that's good because I'm not really in the mood to get fucking wasted. Um, yeah, man, it says uh, Tombstone Fruit Citrus. I don't know. Fuck it. Let's get into it, guys. So, here we go. Uh, first of the day, fellas. Oh, yeah. Woo. A little head on that. I'm going to blow that off just like Tom Fernansky. So, yeah. First of the day. Um, you know what? I'm going to drink this to blue ice. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute. But let me try the beer first. I think he'd rather have me drink the beer tell you about the beer then talk about him here's to you blue ice here's to everybody watching and drew amber thank you so much Ooh. you know i didn't smell it first you know the hops aren't overpowering it doesn't ha it's not that like hop bomb that a lot of ipas have become it is a lot hoppier than what I've been drinking. I mean, granted, I've been drinking a lot of Jenny, PBR, Old Milwaukee. You know, just the staples of uh, Outlaw Camp. But this, guys, this uh, Creeper Reaper Spooky IPA, it's good. It is good. Um, hmm. Wow, Nickel Brook Brewing Company. I've never heard of this, but why would I? Because I don't live in Canada. I'm down here south of the border. Ugh. But this is a tasty beer, guys. And yeah, I drink out of cans. Um, I'm not going to get into it. You guys know cans are better for beer than bottles. Um, nobody wants potentially broken glass laying around when you're camping. Um, and glasses are also you know included in that man it's really it's a lot easier to break a glass than you think and you know with the dogs out here and everything man i i can't afford that 
Man, this is tasty. I can't believe it's only 5%. Oh, man. I, I like this. Drew, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, watch out girls. Oh man. Um yeah, this beer it's good. Um I don't know. I got a feeling it's probably like a uh oh it's a small batch. I didn't notice that. I didn't even don't even think I showed you guys this can really. I just I started drinking it. See, so there's the uh front there's the back. I don't know if you guys could pause and zoom in. I think I told you everything you needed to know. Uh, great beer, better stories. Um, it's probably a Halloween beer. Who the fuck knows? Doesn't matter. If you guys are up there, you're in Etobicoke, Ontario. Also this is Burlington. I'm assuming that's probably Burlington, Ontario. Probably not Burlington, Vermont. Mm. Yeah, I had to put it in a koozie, guys, because it's getting hot in the hot tent. It is 76 degrees. And I haven't, I keep looking for my watch. And you know what? Fuck it, man. You know, if you're camping, do you really need to keep track of time? I think, man, one of the main reasons I do is just to let you guys know what time it is, you know, in, in the videos, much like I let you know what the temperature is. Like the uh, 76 degrees in here and the 34 uh, degrees outside. But like I said, guys, uh, Blue Ice, um, there's going to be a link down in the description to his channel. I've mentioned him before. I've drank to him before, but it's been a while. And, you know, this guy's been a big supporter of mine. I mean, for years. And he does great beer reviews. Just simple, honest, awesome stuff. Lacey, whatever you think is going on out there, it's not it's not going on okay just give some fucking love oh, excuse me see it's it's working the blue ice so yes he uh great beer reviews great channel guys um honestly i feel bad because i haven't um i haven't been watching a lot of youtube stuff lately just because i haven't had time i've been trying to make my own stuff i've been working it's that dreaded holiday season but if you guys got time, get down in the description. Check out Blue Ice. Blue, here's to you, man. Definitely one of my favorite channels. So, yeah, guys. Uh, it is the Vivor 3M Hot Tank. Like I said, probably first time you guys are seeing it this year. Uh, there's going to be a, uh, some video coming up. I'm going to explain what the hell's going on with it. Because I'm sure you've seen probably from the inside that it was quite dirty. Uh, you've probably already seen the Gorilla Tape patches. Um, and, you know, for, even from the inside. A couple, uh, got a couple holes in the old uh, Vivor 3M hot tent. But, you know, what are you going to do? These things happen, especially when you don't take care of your stuff. Much like I never seem to do. Uh, although the, uh, one tigress hot tent or one tigress hot tent, Jesus you used to have a one tigress hot tent. You guys know, I'll know what happened to that. If you didn't, man, that's way down in my catalog when that hot tent just fucking, yeah, I got destroyed in a horrible snowstorm. But this thing, even though it looks a little lot, uh, it really, you know, it looks worse for the wear. Um, this hot tent is great. Uh, it's a great tent. Um, yeah, I, but anyway, yeah, the whole thing, like, I don't know, man. Maybe you can see in there the uh, One Tigress Tiger Roar tent stove. That's still running. Stove pipes, no problem. Uh, that is a Pamali spark arrestor up there because for some reason, One Tigress is like, you guys don't need a fucking spark arrestor. Just burn down, you know, your surroundings. But yeah, guys, uh, for whatever reason, which will be explained probably in the future, uh, this is up in my front yard. Uh, oh boy, here come the natives, and I'm spooking them. Yeah, don't spook the natives, right, guys? Hey, yeah, we we we, we waved to that guy. He was uh, he was an interesting looking character. I hope he's not somebody looking for me. 
he definitely looks like uh, he could have been one of my subscribers. Uh, anyway, it's getting cold out here, guys. It's uh, 32 degrees right now. Um, I got the Mountain Smith because I got some stuff in here. I want to get back in the hot tent and get to it. Uh, this here, guys, uh, this is just a uh, the thermometer for the outside. I have the uh, you know sensor, or the reader, or whatever it is inside. The outlaw camp sign that I never actually hung up. And a fish jug. I'm bringing that in. Uh, you guys will see in uh, upcoming stuff what happens if you don't have a fish jug. So let me tell you guys. Um, you know, it's something nobody really wants to talk about. But get yourselves a fucking fish jug. We're going to leave that Jenny out here in nature's cooler. And get back into the hot tent with the mountain smith. Uh, and the fish jug. Uh, somewhat less than faithful companions. I don't know. I think Yeah, see this is for the screen which I don't need because it's November And uh, you know, there's no fucking bugs in the fall It is warm in here. I feel like I definitely need some uh, Some of this wood uh, Stewart's firewood process you guys can see, man, empty beer cans and everything. This is that fucking amber ale I told you guys about. I'm gonna save that can. Thank you once again, Drew. Um, yeah, man. So, it's 74 in here. Uh, I do have the fan for up there. I'm gonna get that hooked up, and then we're just gonna continue this, whatever the fuck this is. But thanks for coming back and checking this out, guys. Like I said, it's kind of just a little preview to my birthday video and the hot tent madness.